On the 1st of August 2019, Tweet claimed Fulani Heathers invaded and attacked students at the medical students hostel of the University of Abuja, Gwagwalada. So around that kind of 1 a.m. in the morning, the early hour, so there are some little guys, they are hoodlums, right? Like 15 of them, they came around the hostel and then they boggled the hostel. And uh, what we were hearing is we were hearing noise of people around like woodlum. I thought it was fight or something like that. But later we now discovered that they are woodlum. They came to raid them. And what they are saying is they are, they are talking Aousas, are speaking Aousa language. And then the next thing they had, a car was coming from this side, this direction. And then they saw the headlamp. And then the next thing they were saying is area, area, area. They are just shouting area, area. Then they left. Uh, the video, uh, the video in body. I don't care there too. I don't care there too, bro. See my face, the medical student, I want to level the class here for that matter. See my body, bro. See my body, see my leg, see my leg, my shoe. I'm going to get the leg, see my leg now. Okay. Barefooted now around this class. We had it too, or even on the social media, it's full any, but what they spoke that night, it was pure Hausa language. So we don't know if they are full any or they are not full any. And then they were not holding gun, no, none of them hold gun, just machete and then knife and bottle. That's what they came with. So we can't say they are real thieves or arm robber. Yeah, you have so many implications of false narratives when it comes to security issues. One, you allow time to elapse for those who perpetrate a particular crime to go away from the scene or far away from where they can be pursued and arrested. Because by the time you now come back to realize that the information you get is false, you have given them enough time to escape from arrest. Then the second one is that uh, you may influence security agencies to go with a wrong operational order where they cannot engage innocent people in either arresting them or in fighting them, knowing very well you were doing the right thing, but within the ambit of what the civilians will be saying, they will tell you that they are not aware of what you are coming to arrest them for. So it may bring a lot of crisis between with the security agencies and then the civilians that information is given about them that turned out to be false. And uh, it questions the credibility of the intelligence that you have around you uh, when you are given this information, you don't cross check and then you just go out and start operating. So you have bad blood between those who give you the information and those who are going to arrest. The president of the medical students refused to speak to Roots TV and efforts to reach the school authority for comment proved abortive. Uh, the security in this area is not too tight. Yeah, it's not too tight because uh, it's in our last month, I think it's last month, arm robbers came into that neighborhood and then they boggled the man house and took, they cutted a lot of things from him, like laptops, phones and all that. They were holding all this uh, untapped gun, this uh, uh, gun like that. So security in the area is not too tight. With no security in sight and lack of street lights, an attack of the same magnitude could occur in the future. Nigeria.